Aside from Robert Bork, the late U.S. Senator and unsuccessful U.S. Uh, Defense Secretary nominee John Tower was probably one of the most uh, publicized unsuccessful nominees of uh, U.S. President for a major governmental position in the late 20th century. John Tower was born in September 1925 and died in an airplane crash <clears throat> in April 1991, aged 65. Born in Houston, Texas, he served in the Pacific uh, Ocean theater or scene of World War II. After the war, he worked as a radio announcer and taught at Midwestern University. In the early 1950s, he switched from the Democratic Party, which was still then dominant in Texas and in at least most states of the southern United States, to the Republican Party. Uh, in 1956, he already worked on the presidential campaign of Dwight Eisenhower, who was then U.S. president. In 1960, he challenged Democratic uh, Senator and Senate Majority Leader Lyndon Johnson, who was simultaneously running for U.S. Vice President. He did lose that election, but since Johnson resigned his Senate seat in January 1961 to assume the vice presidency, a special election was held a few months later, uh, which Tower won. He was then elected in his own right uh, to the U.S. Senate from Texas in 1966, 1972, and 1978. He was the first Republican since the Reconstruction period from 1865 to 1877 uh, to be elected to the United States Senate from Texas. Until Strom Thurmond of South Carolina switched parties in 1964, he was the only Republican senator representing the southern United States. He staunchly opposed the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965. However, starting in 1976, Tower began to alienate many conservative Republicans by supporting President Gerald Ford rather than former California Governor Ronald Reagan uh, for the 1976 Republican presidential nomination, for backing legalized abortion, and for opposing President Reagan's strategic defense initiative. He voluntarily retired from the Senate in January 1987, serving then as chief negotiator of the strategic arms reduction talks with the Soviet Union. Then in 1986 and 1987, he led the Tower Commission whose report was highly critical of the Reagan administration's relations with Iran and the Contras, because the Reagan administration was, uh, or officials, uh, top officials, including uh, then Defense Secretary Caspar Weinberger, were accused of secretly making an arms deal with Iran, which was then in a stalemated war uh, with its Western neighbor, Iraq that had been going on since 1980 uh, so that proceeds from the arms deal uh, could be used to buy arms for the right-wing contra guerrillas that were fighting against the socialist slash communist president of Nicaragua um, Daniel Ortega uh, and uh, while the Tower report stopped short of accusing President Reagan of either committing impeachable offenses or of condoning such offenses, it sharply criticized him for uh, remaining too distant from his administration's officials for not supervising them and monitoring their activities properly. Uh, some of Reagan's more merciful critics might have put that down to uh, the early stages of uh, dementia, senile dementia that would then in 1994 be formally um, diagnosed and then announced to the public in Reagan's last handwritten letter as Alzheimer's disease. Uh, the more critical uh, Americans and international observers of American politics uh, might even have said that Reagan was not fully competent to serve as U.S. president anymore uh, during especially the second half of his 
second term, but we, we will leave that aside. Anyway, <clears throat> in <coughs> January 1980, uh, uh, the incoming US President George Herbert Walker Bush, who had earlier served as vice president, announced that John Tower would be his nominee for defense secretary. Uh, the U.S. Senate was dominated by the uh, Democrats, but given already the fact that Tower had served in the Senate for over 23 years, it was a stunning move by most senators to reject his nomination in March 1989. The largest reasons were, aside from partisan politics and probably um, a decision by enough Senate Democrats to inflict um, a humiliating defeat on the new president who had defeated um, the Democratic candidate governor Michael Dukakis of Massachusetts in November 1988 in the U.S. presidential elections, uh, John Tower's personality. Uh, in particular allegations of alcohol abuse and womanizing. John Tower went so far as to uh, pledge on national television never again uh, to drink strong alcoholic beverages if he was confirmed as U.S. Defense Secretary, but even that did not help him. And then there were also allegations of possible about possible conflicts of interest since he had worked for the defense industry. The Senate vote was 47 to 53, and it marked the first time that the U.S. Senate had rejected a cabinet nominee of a newly elected president. In other words, denied this newly elected president, uh, George Bush, a so-called grace period, or bipartisan or nonpartisan <laughs> grace period. Uh, the New York Times commented, for example, in the normally clubby Senate, Mr. Tower was regarded by some colleagues as a gut fighter who did not suffer fools gladly, and some lawmakers indicated that they were only too pleased to rebuke him. In 1990, in response to the alcohol allegations, Tower told the New York Times, Have I ever drunk to excess? Yes. Am I alcohol dependent? No. Have I always been a good boy? Of course not. But I've never done anything disqualifying. That's the point. Uh, as the second and successful nominee for the U.S. Defense Secretary, uh, President Bush chose Richard or Dick Cheney, then a U.S. representative from Wyoming and the House Minority Whip, who would then serve as uh, the U.S. Vice President under the presidency of the other President Bush, George W. Bush. <coughs> In April 1991, while traveling uh, to Brunswick, Georgia, on board At Atlantic Southeast Airlines Flight 2311, Tower, his middle daughter uh, Mar Marianne, the astronaut Sonny Carter, and 20 others were killed. An investigation determined that the crash resulted from failure of the plane's propeller control unit. Uh, 